So to do the waistline, again just clean up all the ex excess threads. And this one we're going to turn up a three centimeter hem, turn down a three centimeter hem, and then fold up a one centimeter hem. Now you can press that. Once you've pinned that around, however, I'm just going to um, leave it for the moment because I also need to do buttonholes on either side of the inside of the um, front waist so that we can put a tie in and that's where the tie is going to come out. So to do the buttonhole, you will put a, you'll need a piece of, um, a little little swatch of either excess fabric or a fusing to put behind to stabilize it a little bit to do a buttonhole because one layer of fabric just isn't strong enough not strong enough yeah yeah okay that makes sense yeah now if you want to do the tie on the front have it coming out on the front edge yes you do the same but you just do the buttonholes on the front of yeah. the pant yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you did, like you've originally advised, on the inside, does that mean the drawstring falls on the inside of the pan? Yeah. Ah, ah right. Yeah. Then you kind of don't see drawstring out in the world. No. Ah, that, that might actually give it a really nice, tidy... Well, it depends on how thick it ends up yeah. being. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because nice you can linen. use um, yeah. a, a linen cord or a yeah. linen, make your own self-fabric yeah. cord. Yeah, yeah or you could buy flat cord and make a feature of and it. make a feature of it yeah. you know there's many ways that you can actually finish it off like bordies yeah like how bordies yeah. are done with that part. yeah yeah got it you can do eyelets if you wanted to make eyelets mm. if you had an eyelet machine or an eyelet handheld mm. you can put an eyelet instead of buttonholes Okay, so the important factor is buttonholes, eyelets, they need to be reinforced on the back. Mm. So you need to have fusing or interfacing. When you do the elastic, it's very important that you make sure that we don't twist it as you stitch one end and then go to stitch the other end. So that's not twisted. Lay it flat like this. The tie is flat this way. The um, elastic is going to be flat towards the, the front. And then we're going to grab the seam behind and we're going to stitch it down there to attach it so that when it's stitched together it's flat. Make sure that everything's nothing is underneath. only need to stitch it to the side seam. And I'm doing a third stitch over the elastic.
and check that I haven't twisted it. No, I haven't. I've got got my um, ties in there, and now I'm going to pin it all down. You need to make sure when you do pin it that the elastic and the drawstring is um, out of the way that you don't catch it in to your stitching. The, way, the place where that may happen that you have to be careful is, is on the side seam. Push the elastic up towards the the um, to the fold. And push it up that way. You will need to manoeuvre the elastic as you're sewing and you'll see that as I'm sewing I'll be manoeuvring it so I'm not stretching it. I'm just moving it from one end to the other just like this. So, that's it all pinned around. So I'm going to start from one side seam. And you'll My machine, I can move the, the, my needle over. So you just need to position your needle so that um, you're catching in. You can get down here. You can see down here the fold of my waistband is down there. And this for the hem is down here. And my needle's back about two mil. So hopefully I'll be able to keep that like that all the way around. It's a slow and easy. Don't don't go fast. Um, drawstring is up this, out, this side of my waistband 
out of my way so I'm no I'm not catching it in to the the stitching line. Just fiddly getting, keeping this flat, getting the foot um, that's a little wider. It's not bulky here, that's not really. It can be if you use uh, the same fabric as you, we used for the grace pant, yeah. that would probably be way too bulky. And the way I would do that one is overlock the edge and have it as a flat seam rather than the way we're doing it this way this time, which is folding it up and um, making a neater edge. No, no threads can be seen from the fabric. So once I get to here, this is where the fun will really begin. It's where the drawstring, the side seam and the elastic all join. You just keep your fabric firm. Don't pull it through the machine. easier if I'm working with flat elastic so try and not um, pull have it so that it's stretched stretched and keep pushing it up towards the the fold of the waistband at the top. Now once we get to here Once I've stitched over the centre back seam, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the elastic through. It's see how it's all bunched up here. I'm going to lift my foot, have the needle in your fabric, lift the foot and then I'm going to stretch the other the elastic towards me and you'll see that it, if you can see it's bunching up at the back so that now again I'm working with the flat elastic Um, sometimes we feel as if we need three hands.
So now it's nice and flat again. Because you've pulled all the elastic I've to the pulled, other side. Yeah. I've, I've um, ruched the elastic on that side and to have it flat over here. Again, don't forget to push it up towards the fold. See how we go. Look at that. Your tie will come in if you need it to. Both sides. And you can tie that um, in a knot and put it on the inside if you want. Um, you can tie this off. And then once, you've, once you have um, tried these on, you might like to shorten this. Drawstring. The drawstring down to around there or so there and then knot it if it's too long. That's an individual um, decision that you'd make as you go. And your elastic... Um, whether if you feel that you need to tighten this up a little bit at this point I would undo one of these for a while from about there to there and tighten it up on this end just pull it to if not um, there it is good. and one last thing with the elastic once you've got it to how you like it Space it evenly on either side of your centre back and I would put a stitching line here to stop it from rolling over um, when you wear it. You, you've probably all had elastic that's twisted. If you put a stay stitch through that seam there which goes all the way through it will stop that from rolling. Okay that's the waistband and we got there all the way through without catching in anything. So if you've done that, pat on your back. <laughs>